And we caught the reaction of one Mike Mayock timing that and looking at Tom Cable like, yep, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Writing it down. <laughs> good caught to, me, huh? Good to see you, Mike. How are I, you? I always yeah. used to think it was funny when we caught people. Right, right, right. Not right. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now you're on the business end of that. But that is, a, right? I mean, that is amazing. That time is insane. You know, it's hard not to think of our guy, and I think you compared him yeah. to him. You know, you look at Trent Brown and, right. and the, how massive Trent is and his length and his size and the way they carry 360 to 380 pounds. But to me, Rich, and, and I always used to try to say this to you, was like, you love of the 4-2-2. Who's going to beat the 4-2-2? Right. I believe him running 5-1-1 is more Kirby impressive than 19. what the wide out from Alabama rugs ran yesterday. Yeah, and the kid Taylor from Stanford ran the same time. Right. He's the tallest with the longest wingspan here. And then uh, the kid from uh, Iowa, my oh, gosh, was he was amazing. Yeah. I mean, this offensive line class was off the charts, don't you think? Yeah, and the Werfs kid is a third-year junior. Typically, the Iowa players stay five years, not three. Right, right. And he comes out, and a lot of people, DG, I think, were thinking right tackle or guard. Yeah. And his numbers just jumped off the chart. I mean, left tackle. It screamed left tackle. It, it Boy, did he help himself. Yeah, he was. And it was just so smooth. And even the change of direction stuff, once we got into the really field good. workout, was really, really, really good. Yeah. This is a... Uh, this is an interesting draft, man. When you look at some of the depth we have at, at the receiver position, the corner position, this running back group is, is good, and I thought the tackle group, as we've been talking about, is as good as we've seen. Overall, it's a, it's a really solid draft. Yeah, I thought the, the tackle group this today were outstanding. It was fun to watch the wideouts yesterday, right. right? You know, and everybody's trying to say we're going to take one and all the rest of that, and, you know, we have a need there, so it, it was kind of fun to watch. And uh, what was it about your – and we really haven't talked about this. Might as well talk about it on live television. Your first experience going through the draft evaluation as an actual, real, live general manager draft evaluator and what you were able to, to do. You, you got some really good kids there, Mike. I, I, I didn't have to wear a suit. That's so true. That, that was kind of cool. That's true. Um, we didn't have fun facts. Uh, <laughs> there, were, there were no orangutans. <laughs> Uh, you missed it, though. <laughs> well, I guess to, to put a fine point on it, like who, who flashed here at the Combine that said, you know what, if that kid's available, was it Crosby? Was it any of those kids? What, that, last year, you mean? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Ironically, somebody three. said to me the other day they thought that when I came on loader, with you guys last year right. that like Crosby three. was one of the guys running. We talked about him, yeah. And, and I think, I, yeah, I think we talked about Crosby when I was here last year. And, and my biggest concern was him is I loved his tape. I loved how he played. I knew he could bend. I knew he had length. I didn't know if he was going to be strong enough to play early. And I run, this is what's amazing about Max. He came in at plus or minus 255. And we were telling him, you got to hit the weight room. And But the nutrition, the weights, the trainers, he ended up gaining 12 to 14 pounds during the season, which is almost unheard of mm -hmm. for a rookie. So he went from like 254, 255 to almost 270, and he carried it beautifully. So we love him. You look at all the picks you had last year and the success you had, Mike. You come back again with a couple ones this year. What, what are you looking to overall big picture get accomplished in this second class? You know, a lot of people got tired of me talking about foundation players and, and, and philosophically where I thought we needed to be in our building uh, to build from the ground up and the type of people we wanted in the building. And now here goes another GM talking about culture. Yeah. And I think what John and I are tied at the hip about is the type of people we want to bring in our building. Did we swing and miss on a free agent or two? Yeah, we did. Okay, I understand that. Uh, and we will continue to take some chances at different times. But the foundation in our mind are the young guys, Rich. And the coolest thing about last year right. was the kids we drafted were who we hoped they would be, not only as football players, but as people. And uh, one of the, the, the best and most talented, or one of the more talented ones, hardly even played. How is Abram doing right now? Well, he le as John says, he leads the league in commercials. <laughs> played one game. You sound excited about that, by the yeah, way. I'm a, John, I'm gonna get, I'm a, by the way, I'm going to be texting you later, John. You okay. stay off the airwaves. Let's get in the weight room. Now, I love John because he, he loves it. Uh, he, he's if he stays healthy, he's he's 100 percent right now. He's okay. ready to go. If he stays healthy this year, we're going to have a difference maker on the back end. And I love teasing him because he's one of my favorite people in the world. Uh, when's the last time you spoke to Tom Brady? Fine. <laughs> Probably uh, the year they went 18 and 0. That's it. 
It's been since 2007. That's the last time you spoke to Tom. Yeah, that probably would be. It. So am I the most recent Michigan man you've spoken to at the combo? <laughs> <laughs> trying to no, I talked to Josh Uche. He said, "Okay, you know, if you have any interest about that." Okay, he's it, don't, he's only got four more Brady questions, and then you're good, man. Just go. That was Come one. On, I'm go, not the first one to ask two. you about him this week, am I? First of all, we're not allowed to talk about anybody that is involved. Ah, in good ah, answer. Nice, nicely that, done. That's what, it doesn't matter. And, and the second piece of this that, yes. that people don't understand is how good our quarterback is, and it frustrates me a little bit because Derek Carr threw for 70 percent. 4,000 yards, almost a three to one touchdown interception. Here's the, the real deal, Rich. The real deal is I think we're number seven in the league in third downs, 11 in yards, and the disconnect was even though we're 11 in yards, we're 24 in points. Mm -hmm. We have to do a better job scoring points. That's on our defense, number one. We got to be better defensively. We put too much pressure on our offense. We weren't good in the red zone. We weren't good goal to go. That's not on Derek Carr. You know, we got to be better everywhere. And I think people just need to kind of pump the brakes a little bit and give the guys some credit. So he's throwing uh, fastballs. I'm going to give you a nice softball I'm here. I'm throwing fastballs. No, I was that, just that curious. Was he's a pro. He's a pro. He's a pro. He knows he'd get criticized if he doesn't ask the question. Oh. You know, Mike's an old buddy. I'm going to take it easy on him. No, no, no. That's the first so thing he's I'm going to do. I'm going to look at my Twitter feed. What did they think of me? <laughs> you guys got the running back last year with Josh Jacobs, Mike, so you yes. can be honest here. I, I'm a, he's my top guy here in DeAndre Swift. What would you see when you watched him? Swift? Yeah. I watched him play in high school. He's a St. Joe prep kid out of Philadelphia where I'm from, and, and I loved him in, in high school. Um, he, a lot of people thought he was going to run, you know, whatever number, but but four five, I think, is That's about what great. he is, yep. right? Four, yeah, four four nine, four four eight. His lateral quickness and agility, ability to make you miss, catch the football, and that's what Josh was last year for us a little bit. I I was rooting for Josh to run bad numbers at his pro day. I talked to you. I was at the pro day. So Mike, because I walked over to him, I said, Mike, what did Jacobs running? Goes four six. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping for four seven. You know, and then right. I told Howie Roseman the other day they traded up ahead of us. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was for Jacobs, and, and I was having heart palpitations right. before they announced they took the tackle. So Josh was awesome. Uh, we thought he should have been rookie of the year. That's no disrespect to Kyler Murray, uh, but but we feel in our heart of hearts we have something special there. Speaking of something special, how about this kid? Oh. Right, right. Size, speed. I went, you know, I saw him. Uh, where was I? Uh, Wisconsin, Ohio State, and Columbus. Uh, it was that was a fun day. There were some football players out there, and I stood in the field pregame next to him, watching him catch a football. Pretty cool. Which which college game affords you the the most in one viewing of the most prospects? For well, Cle Clemson probably sent you a tracksuit and some hats. <laughs> and, nice. Uh, was it was it the national championship game? Or could it have been Alabama, LSU? I mean, which I, I think whenever you're talking SEC championship game, yes. ro rolling into the the two. Championship sure. series games. That's that's what yeah, it could be Clemson Ohio State too. I it, mean that Clemson Ohio State game was really fun to watch and, and you know watching those corners get after each other's wide outs. Look at these numbers. Really Look cool. at that four four two. Yeah, he, he's a stud man. Those are great numbers for him to, to post after phenomenal 2000 yard seasons back to back. Yep. Again we I want to see him get out in the field workout and see him change direction and move around a little bit. That right. straight line speed is not a question with him. Right. And then tomorrow I'll put you back in uh, your old role here. Which which is, <laughs> which is the deepest which is deepest of the defensive group do you think. Uh, that's coming up over the next two days. We have issues in all three levels so I, I kind of look at them tomorrow and uh, the, the D line I think is intriguing the, the, the defensive tackle position. Uh, I think people think there might be two guys up top but there's three or four guys under the big two that I think are really intriguing of course. Uh, the defensive end class is interesting. I think they're more linebackers than a lot of people do. Uh, and guys that can really run. We've got some fast linebackers, some athletic linebackers off the ball. I guys. think it's a deeper group than a lot of people do. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I, we appreciate you coming on here, but they want you to have a two and a half hour long conference call with the entire media group <laughs> for you to give your thoughts on the entire combine. Just for old time's light, sake, light. can you do it? Do you have two and a half hours? To yeah, start? Sure, I'd be happy. Let me go down to a podium after <laughs> nine hours of television. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eight hours of TV. Hey, Mike, we need you to go down to a podium. Like, I'm fried. I can't even remember the quarterback name. Well, and you want me to do a podium? Let's you give fun with that, everybody <laughs> what they deserve. Okay, yes, people love seeing you back on the network with us. But let's give everybody what they want. What do we Everybody except for one person. Mayock, oh, no. High point.
pointing <laughs> Dan Look at Marino's this. pass oh, it, back in the day. This is going to piss Danny off. <laughs> he is not going to be happy. I promise With you. With the cutoff jersey, hold it up. You bet. Watch the vert, like seven inches. That's about it. Got him. <laughs> Number 20, Mike Mayock. There you go. Where's Marino? Come on. Good to see you, Mike. Always great to see you guys. Have fun. See you, Mike. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank <laughs> you.